Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 24 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord while it loads. Uh, yeah, and today we have 27.99, count complete subways in a way. Uh, yeah, so I'm still heading out, traveling in a couple of days, so uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I do this for free mostly. Uh, I mean, I say mostly because if you want to send me money, I will I will take it. But <laughs> since no one has, uh, it's mostly for free. Um, so yeah, but when I travel, I do post a lot of stories. I, I don't. I should post more on my um, on my feed or whatever it's called on Instagram. But uh, but mostly I post on the stories. So if you're interested in kind of how I go or where I go and all these things, you know, follow me in the next couple of weeks, and there'll be a lot. And I'll also post some. I'll talk about it here as well a little bit. But yeah, uh, but that said, I still need to sleep more. But so let's get fin let's get started. Let's finish this. I ran a couple miles today. Not not too much. Just like four or five and. Um, to kind of like rest myself for w doing a lot of travel walking because it's usually pretty stressful. So yeah. All right, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 27.99 count complete subways in, in NOA. Okay, you're given NOA nums, positive integers. Complete if the number of distinct elements in the subway is equal to the number of distinct elements in the whole array. Return the number of s complete subways. Okay, so in here... the I guess I'm trying to read out loud first. Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything that weird, right? I think... Um, maybe there is. I don't know. Um, but first, of course, well, N is a thousand, so that's just a little bit silly. Huh. Let me think. I mean, if N is equal to a thousand, then we are pretty much done, right? It's just that I'm... Like, it's... It's just an easy n square solution. Um, I mean, of course, if you're a little bit, you know, you could build from the n cube and then build to n square, um, and it should be okay. I'm, I'm actually very surprised, honestly, that it is n square. I'm trying to think whether there is a way to do it better than n square, better than quadratic. Um, I would think there is, or maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't really been able to think about it. Let's just do the n square one, right? So this is a very um, interesting idea, right? That if you haven't seen it before, um, it is something that is critical to learn. Is that okay? Let's say you have a subway where you do something like this, right? Uh, let's. Oh, actually, let me. Read, let me read, you go start, um, and the start could be anywhere, right? And then now you do, um, right? Now we know that we're starting from here. Yeah, I mean, eh, maybe I could write it in another way, right? Where you so basically you do like a, a collections like counter thing, right? Of nums up, you know, from start to. Um, oh, I guess I did it wrong, but yeah, for n and something like this, right? Um, yeah, okay, I think that's right. Inclusive, so then inclusive, right? Uh, so something like this, right? Um, and this is of course n cube because. And I just too lazy to write the other loop, right? Um, right, this is n cubed because, well, the 1n, 2n, and then 3n, right? Um, and that's going to be too slow. But one thing that is very um, thing is that if you kind of look at, and this pattern, I hesitate to call it pattern like it's a, you know, like a huge thing, but it is something to think about, is that, um, let's say, you know, you have this array, Right. Let's say you have this array, and then you have some starting point. And then the idea here is that you can build on each, um, you could build more subarrays on another subarray, right? For example, you start with here, your right endpoint's here, then now, and, and this is your subarray that goes, say, like this, right, uh, length of two. Then now to build the length of three subarray, you can build that off the length of two subarray. Maybe you could call it DP, maybe not, I don't know. I mean, I feel like everyone's naming everything DP nowadays, uh, as long as you have some state, but, but you get the idea. And as a result of that, then now you can reduce it from n squared to n cubed, right? That's basically the core idea behind this. I don't know if I made the match up. So then now instead of this, we can just actually write something like f of, we just start one, 
and then um, f of num sub n increment by one, right? And then now we just keep on going, but then now at the end, we know that we can check to see this thing first, right? So with length of f is equal to um, whatever, right? Uh, some m, right? And m is just equal to the length of this set of nums, right? Oh, and I guess I, I don't know why I used this actually. I guess this a set is fine, right? Huh. I must be thinking of something. Uh, maybe I was, oh, I think initially I was thinking of some sort of sliding window E thing. So I was like, but yeah, you don't even need this, right? So here, uh, yeah, you add this. And if this is M, then count is equal to one. And that's it. That should be good, right? And yeah, n square. I don't know. This is way really weird. Uh, n square time, n square space, right? And that's it. Uh, yeah, eighteen fifty day streak. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people are faster. What is the fastest solution? Ah, I mean, this is what I was saying, but eh, it's fine. Uh, I I thought there was a sliding window one, but I, I'm surprised that they didn't do it. Did I do a sliding window last time? No, I also was lazy last time. Okay, well, listen. Oh, and I did an already brick, so that was slightly better. Uh, but, yeah. Now, you can definitely do sliding window. So, yeah. Uh, that's it. You know, sometimes it is what it is. You know, especially in a contest, in an interview, if they tell you the constraints, then, you know. But that's it. Uh, in a contest, maybe it's fine, though. Nowadays, there are part one, part two problems. Maybe part two would have been bigger. And on, and, a, and on an interview, they may give you a lower constraint to kind of start off, be like, hey, let's kick this off. Um, just make sure you ask questions so that you'll be like, okay, I know that for, and you goes a thousand, we can do this. But I also know that, you know, if it goes over a thousand or whatever it is, we have to be a little bit better. And then you kind of talk through it, uh, maybe talk through the sliding window one. But yeah, uh, I am going to call it a lazy day. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I solved this with sliding windows before, though. I'm not this problem, but like, they're like at least like I feel like I've seen this problem on lead code like three or four times something similar so definitely look for those and check those out and I think some of them have higher constraints so yeah and if you have questions you can check out those videos I probably have them too right and that's all good call it night thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health I'll see y'all later and take care bye bye